Baked chicken is a familiar dish. It should be simple, easy, but it can be problematic. And here's the problem. You take a chicken, you put it in a baking dish. If you want the meat to be juicy and tender inside, the skin is kind of pale and flabby. But if you get that skin super crisp, the meat inside is often overcooked. Until today, we have a baked chicken expert with us, Natalie, and she's gonna solve all of these problems. Well, the simple things are the hardest, right? Right. And we realized during our testing that a glass baking dish wasn't really doing anything for right, us. Right. So we wanted to use a cast iron. We're baking in cast iron. Correct. Once it gets heated up all the way, it tends to retain heat mm -hmm. way longer than an aluminum pan or a glass ceramic dish. So what we want to do is we want to heat it up in the oven as opposed to the stove top. Right, because the stove top is kind of spotty the way that it heats up cast iron. So we're going to start in a cold oven okay. at 450 degrees. Cold pan, cold, cold oven. Cold pan, cold oven. And once it comes up to 450 degrees, it's good to go. Okay. So we obviously need to season our chicken, and we wanted to keep classic baked chicken flavors, and we also wanted to give it some color. So this is two teaspoons of salt, and to this we're gonna add two teaspoons of paprika, and one teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. That's it, that's a spice mixture, that's, that's easy. Exactly, pantry items. Just gonna mix this until it's incorporated. All right, so we're just gonna set this aside for now and we're gonna get down to the chicken. We like to use a uh, whole chicken here because it's more economical. You get to control more of the parts as far as like what size you want, how much fat you wanna trim off of it. So we're gonna start by patting it dry. And how big is the chicken? This is a four pound bird and it's gonna yield three pounds in parts. And then I'm gonna start by taking off the skin that connects the breast to the thigh, just using the tip of the boning knife, not using the whole blade. Yeah, I always say that the chicken will tell you where to make the cuts. There always seems to be a little fat seam uh -huh. at just about every place you cut. And then we're just gonna flip it over and kind of pop this joint out. Let gravity do the work for us. Go along, take this off. Use this little line of demarcation over here to take it away from the joint and separate the leg from the thigh. We're gonna take off any excess fat so it doesn't render into our sauce. And then we're gonna take this wing tip and use the same method, kinda let gravity do the work and take it off from the breast. And we're going to discard the wing tips. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna take off the back with a larger knife. Okay. I'm gonna take the chef's knife and I'm gonna go down as close to the spine as I can. I'm gonna do the same with the other side as well. And then with this, I'm just gonna go along the breastbone. And then once I get towards this breastbone, I'm just gonna press down. Just crush that bone. So now that we've broken down our chicken, we're going to season it. So this is our spice mixture. Season pretty liberally from a pie. Get better coverage if you do it up high rather than the right on there. That's right. So you have to make sure to season liberally on both sides. We really want all these flavors to penetrate into the chicken. All right. We're using all of the rub. Yes, we're all using the all of the rub. Great. All right, so we've got our chicken season, and now we're just gonna wait for our pan to come up to temperature. Okay. So we've taken our cast iron out of the oven, and it's really hot, as it's you can feel. It's super hot. Screaming hot. And we're just gonna start off with two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I love the little handle cover you've got there. It's I like know, a, it's perfect. Little baseball mitt. It's a good idea if you don't have a handle cover for your hot cast iron skillet, you can wrap it with a towel, just to remind yourself that it's hot. To this, we're gonna add six thyme sprigs just for some aromatics. Mm, nice. We're gonna start off with our chicken. We're gonna start skin side first because we want that immediate browning. All right. This is like Rubik's chicken. You've gotta figure out how to jigsaw it all in there. Yeah, kind of like Tetris. <laughs> so you can move around the thyme sprigs if they tend to be in the way. Okay. So all going skin side down. Yes, skin side down. Yeah, I think you're gonna make it. It's great. 
We're just gonna pop this in the oven for 15 minutes. And it's still at 450? Yes, at 450. Oh, thank you. It smells so good in here. It smells awesome, doesn't it? Just gonna flip these over. And you can already <gasps> see that it has such nice color on it. Gorgeous browning. Yeah, you don't get that in a glass baking dish. Oh, definitely not. Between the spices and the herbs that are in there, the whole kitchen smells phenomenal. It does. So we're gonna let this go for another 15 minutes or until the breast reads 160 and the legs and the thighs read 175. All right, so roughly 15 minutes aside. Correct. Great, I'll get the door. Thank you. All right. That. Oh, that looks beautiful. I know. I'm excited for this. We're just gonna temp one of the thighs. And we're looking for? 175. Oh, it's perfect. So we're just gonna let this rest in the skillet for about 10 minutes because we want the juices to get reabsorbed back into the chicken. Okay. All right, so our chicken has been resting for 10 minutes. Now it's time to plate it up. Thank goodness. So start off by taking out some of the pieces and then we can discard the time sprigs that are in here because they've done their work. Oh. So we have some pretty delicious pan drippings over here and we're just gonna whisk this up a little bit. That's the gold in the bottom of the pan. <laughs> exactly. We're just gonna spoon them over our chicken. Oh yeah. Looks awesome. Well, I like that you didn't have to make a sauce separately. Keeping with the whole simple is better theme here. Exactly. So, would you like a breast? Yes. For you? Lovely. You have to see if this is actually really juicy, too. The key was getting color on the outside of the chicken, but juicy meat inside. Exactly. You can hear it, too. Like crispy, crispy skin. skin. Oh. Tender, juicy. I mean, look at that. Mmm. It is so good. That spice mixture. It goes a long way. Oh. It goes a very long way. It actually tastes like long roasted chicken. It does. Oh. Without the roux, without mm -hmm. the minced mm -hmm. garlic, without the onions. Mm -hmm. It's 30 minutes. The upfront work, the prep, it was just breaking down a chicken, which really is a great thing to learn at home because it is going to save you a lot of money and all these pieces are cooked perfectly. But also, you can do all that prep while the cast iron is heating in the oven. Exactly. I know it cooks like a weeknight meal, but it doesn't taste like a weeknight meal. It doesn't uh -uh. taste Not at like all. you took any shortcuts. The skin on that chicken is so well rendered. It's perfectly juicy too. Thanks, Natalie. Well, you're welcome. Solved all of our baked chicken problems. I'm glad you liked it. Well, our baked chicken starts with heating a cast iron skillet in the oven. Meanwhile, make an easy spice mixture with paprika, onion powder, and granulated garlic. Break down a whole chicken into parts and season with the spices. Add butter and thyme sprigs to the skillet. Add the chicken skin side down and bake until done, flipping the chicken over halfway through cooking. Let the chicken rest in the skillet and then serve with those pan juices. So from Cook's Country, a foolproof and really better way to chicken, it's cast iron baked chicken. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>